Welcome back to another video. Today we're carrying a record amount of lambs to the mart. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Stay tuned. Here's what's coming up today. There's a great service here by King Mayor Matt. We're going to bring them in the night before and cook them up. They have a couple of pins of slats. Right. They, they find it hard to go down now because it's dark. Shhh. Shine the light in there. Shhh. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would not send sauce in? Man. So, we're bringing in these heavy ram lambs now. There's roughly around 150 here. So, we're just going to be going through them now to, to mark them up, tag them, see what kind of weights and what kind of groups we're going to put them into. Uh, Most of these ram lambs should be well into their 40s. They're, um, they're on the ration there now, on the feed now, a good few weeks. So, they should weigh well now, please God. So yeah, bring them in as well to tag them and start them into their groups as well. So there's a bit of work in that, so we'll be at that now for the majority of the day. So yeah, these are all the ram lambs now. Just bring them in now to weigh these as well. Start out their groups and tag them for Monday. We're carrying in a good few lambs, a big number of lambs to the map Monday, which is a big risk because prices are bad enough now. Whether they'll be bad or not next Monday, nobody knows. They're all over 40 kgs, so that should make a reasonable price. And there's a shortage of lambs with flesh, so hopefully there'll be a good few buyers bidding against each other. There's a shortage of lambs, heavy lambs now at the moment. Whether, whether that will help them or not, we don't know. Hello. So these are also the yaw lambs, we're also going to be taking the yaw lambs to the mart, we're just bringing them in now to weigh them, um, I'm hoping a lot of them are over 40 kgs, these are all off Texel and Suffolk yaws, so they're, they have great condition in them, they're being fed, they're being fed there in the fields and they're in good grass, so it's, obviously it's a big risk taking a big number of lambs to the mart, but you can be lucky and you might, you might be unlucky, so we're obviously putting a lot of eggs in one basket. So hopefully, hopefully no, um, there'll be a lot of buyers at the mart and that'll drive and bid, bid on and drive the price of the lamb up. So here they are, they're in good condition in fairness. Um, these will have been all born roughly around the start of April. So we'll just go weighing some of them there now. Hopefully a few of them will just run in there easy. So this lamb here is around the 43 mark and it's, to be fair it's not the biggest. So I'm marking anything that's over the 40. So lambs are all weighed now. We're just bringing them up here now to tag them. We're tagging here now. Two tags now for the, for the, for the mat and only one tag for the factory. Yeah. These are your lambs to go to Kinmea Mat Monday. They're over 40 kgs. 45 of them. 45 altogether. Taking out the horning lambs now with bits of horns now, keeping them separate to the poly lambs. So they just be look a bit tidier. We'll have the Texels and the stuff was kind of one group and the kind of ones with bits of horns in a different group then. So we've them all tagged there now. Two tags on. We'll just start the out groups according to their weights and what they look like. One four seven ninety four B one four seven fifty four G. We're man tagged now, so we lay them out now for a small bite of grass. We'll bring them in again before dark. So they're all ready for to go on the morning. We'll be going early in the morning, so it'll be dark time. 
So we'll have to have them inside for loading because you couldn't bring them in the dark. So we'll feed them inside here. Try to get their weight up as high as possible. So when they're weighing the mat. He's filling into this batch book for the lambs for the mat tomorrow. Uh, there's a lot of writing in it. 170 lambs. There's a lot of writing to fill them all in. It's all red tape. But that's the, that's the law now. You have to have every, all paperwork up Any right and nothing wrong. Oh no, hop! Come on, lads. Plenty of room now, come on. We have them. And the way into Kim here now, carrying two loads, because obviously we can't carry in all the lambs tomorrow. It is one of the hottest days of the year so far, is it? It is looking like it. It's a fierce hot inside the Jeep, and yeah. He's eating we're ice by, cream. We're by late, we're by. So we're carrying two loads now, and we'll be carrying two loads in the morning. Bring these in here now the night before. They're on a sled. They have water. And we'll give them a bit of feed to keep the weights up. So this is the first load we'll bring you second load in, in a minute. So back out. This is a great service here by King Mayor Matt. We're gonna bring them in the night before. And a couple of, they have a couple of pins of slats. Yeah, slats here, so they won't get too dirty. The so yeah, we have three loads dropped off there now. And it is well dark now, and we'll be coming in the morning, it'll be dark again. That's the father ahead of me, with his car. So, stay tuned now, and we'll be on again in the morning. So it's now just gone past 4.30, so I'm heading back to the farm, and just trying to be in early now, ahead of the queue, to get good numbers, to get the lambs sold early. Um, because if they'll be there all day, we are only losing weight, Buyers would be only getting their trailers filled up, so we'll get him in early. It is now around 5, 5 a.m. He's up. I thought you'd be still in bed. I have the car coming, so I jumped out. Right. They, they find it hard to go down now because it's dark. Shh. Shine the light in there. Shh. Shh. Right man, so... That hardly go up, I suppose. We have him. Hey. Right. That's that one, man. So I'm off in there to, to join the queue or try to get ahead of most of it. And the father will be in in a couple of hours to give me a hand uh, getting the stickers to put on the different lots. It'll be interesting to see how many, how many trailers are ahead of me. So far, so good. One. Ho ho, we're second in the queue. Not bad. So, Dan, the mat manager here, meets everyone in the morning going in. So, every farmer that comes here through here, Dan, you gets a lot number, is it? They get a lot number out of the, the book. According to the queue? According there. to the queue. Right. And what we do is we give out from 1 to 25 the evening before. Yeah. And we keep from 25 to 75 for the people that are queuing in the morning. Yeah. And anyone that's after that then can get a number yeah. after the, um, the 20 to 75. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You then, you drive in here then, and then you drop your lambs off into their pins, and you get the stickers above them, the office there, write them out, and you glue them onto the sheep's wool, so the people working the mart knows whose lambs are there, they are, and there's no mix-up, and it's all about traceability. <laughs> So it's a full, full house here today. As you can see, Kinmare is a big, big sheep mart. Um, prices are steady enough so far. It's early in the day yet. Mine will be in about 10 lots time. 
So please God, it won't have much weight last. Or hopefully there's, there seems to be a lot of bidders around the ring. Just, I'm just hoping we'll get a good price. Because it makes all the difference. to a profit at the end of the day after. I'm after arriving in the Kinmare Mat now to see how prices are, to see how lambs will do. Friends, sunny day here do, in Kinmare. Do you reckon we'll get rich out of them? Uh, you won't be too rich, I'd say. No. Ken McCarthy's auctioneering there now. He tries to get the most he can from the farmer. He's a good auctioneer, isn't he? He's a good auctioneer, alright. Most people have time for them. <laughs> Rams all on meals. Give me bro. Give me bro. <laughs> How much do we want from now, sir? I don't know, that's the question. Give me as much as you can first, and I'll get the Celtic. Yeah. Stuff. That's the stuff. And fine mugs as well, Kinmare Mart. <laughs> So I'm here now with the father and Dan McCarthy, the manager of Kinmare Mart. Dan, could you give us a little bit of history of the Mart? The Mart was opened in 1996, in the 9th of July 1996. And the first sale, there was 742 sheep sold on that day. Today, the, the, around the same time of the year, we're hitting for 3,500 sheep. Jesus. So great. You know, it's a big achievement to get the numbers. Yeah. To come through. I'll show you the sheet of the first to say and what I made in a minute. You can have a look at it. Yeah. We, we kept that. We kept that. Uh, souvenir. souvenir, yeah. Have you been coming here? When well, was you? Of course, we came when it started because before the mayor started good enough and they were going away well, but they, they hit a black, a, a bad patch there for a time. Yes. Well, that's what we had from people anyhow, but they appointed a new manager, Dan McCarthy, and he, he bought it for Then put the show on the road. up the numbers by a massive amount. That's and he's good. still going strong. What is the number of lambs compared to this year, compared to say three or four years ago? Well, the numbers have been declining, and a lot of people are cutting back with the cost of the feeding. And a lot of people are going into organics now, so that doesn't mean that they'll, have, they'll be able to do with yeah. the sheep. And it's harder to get a market for the mountain lamb now because I suppose there's, there's less people wanting to have them, the crossbred lamb, and yeah. the other man. A lot of people use the market as a social out outlet, especially all the people who be living their own. Do you think the government should be doing more to help? I think, I think there's a kind of a party for the, the, the older people, especially the people that are living alone. Yeah. The day out for them people to come to social the market, thing. a social thing, to come to the market and meet and meet their neighbours and have a chat and see the price of cattle and the price of sheep. And would you notice, I notice myself, like a lot of the people inside around the ring, a lot, most people seem to be over 50, there's not that many young people. They're not really putting any incentives there for younger people to go farming. Yeah, the incentives aren't there for the younger people. And I suppose the way it has gone now, a lot of the younger people are working as well. And they yeah. drop off the sheep and drop off the cattle. And I suppose the big plus, and I suppose I was one of the most critical men of it when it started, oh, was, yeah. was the online. It's a, the biggest boost, I'd say, to the maps. Online bidding. The online bidding and bringing, and you can see yourself there today, Glenn, what the what the yeah. your lambs are. Yeah, the bidding Dr it drives up the prices. Yes. Dan, how long have you been here? I was, I was a bread man since 1996 to 2004. Yeah. I was asked to take on the job of manager, in the, and I started here on the 1st of March 2004. I went into the office that day, and I sat down in the chair, and I said to myself, what am I doing here? <laughs> but, you know, I've enjoyed every day of it, and hopefully there'll be a few more years than me yet. Please, God. Also a councillor for the Khmer area, and you're trying your best always to push on things for farmers to help us, aren't you? I'm always doing my best for the, the locality and the, the farming community, and I was. A lot of people said that I'm too much for the farmer when, I, when I'm selling. Yes. But I suppose if the farmer is making enough, I want uh, I want a job, so it is important yeah. to, to look after the farmer and they'll produce the stock. 
We're lucky enough here that the, the best of the stuff, both sucklers, daring and the sheep, have been produced in this area. And I'd like to I'd like to thank the people that are supporting us here from all, all different areas and the buyers that travel from all over Ireland to buy the sheep and the cattle here. It's, it's definitely one of the biggest sheep marts in Ireland, numbers wise. Well, it must be well up there, not yeah. come anywhere like so. Oh, we have the customers and if we don't have the customers, we want the sheep. All good. I'm I'm happy. Dan's happy. Are you happy? Oh, it's a deal for me. We'll go home now and we'll go. Are you going to stop in the Rookty Bar? We might stop for one drink in the Rookty Bar. So that's it for another video. The lambs are sold. It's great to get lambs moved off the farm to bring in some more income to pay the bills. I will see you for the next one. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would that sound so simple? Come on.